It's been a while since we at Trinity Fellowship updated you on our response to Hurricane Harvey and our partnership with Reach Global Crisis Response. Your generosity is making a huge difference, but there is much more to do. I want to show you some of the work that you're enabling and ask you to help again in a way that might surprise you. The neighborhood you're seeing is called Bayou Chantilly. It sits between Interstate 45 and Dickinson Bayou. Every home in this neighborhood was flooded. Tom Tyler's home was flooded, and he's been living in his garage for eight months. There. Here's the water uh, from 2.30 a.m. to, this is about 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, and the water eventually would cover the trucks here. Here's the destruction that a flood like this causes. You can see the water line in the house. All the furniture has been destroyed. And uh, this was a white carpet down here. This is furniture that my mother and father acquired when, uh, after Claudette came in in 1979 and put 42 inches of water in the home. And now uh, that flood brought this nice stuff into their lives and, and uh, this flood took it away again. <laughs> this is out the back bedroom. And things. There, those are chairs from the living room going out through the back window. Current so swift. Uh, there's a debris field. This is what a tear out looks like. And this is what it looked like after it's torn out. Now, as we go through the house, you'll see the work that your people have done here. <laughs> because this is it, completely stripped. And then uh, volunteers uh, from Trinity began to show up. And uh, let's take a look at what they've done. As I explained to uh, the volunteers, the whole point of this is to get my 92 and a half year old mom back home. Just a few days ago, this was nothing but um, open studs and, and the, the brick showing through. Now, as we were looking at the pictures on the computer a minute ago, you saw nothing but open studs and just look all the way through the house. Well, this is the big room you were looking at first, and look at it now, thanks to thanks to your people. It's almost back. It's like having a home again. Just having these walls up is like having a home again. <laughs> it takes three things to rebuild a home and establish a Christ-focused outreach. Money for the supplies may come from the homeowner. We also have a partnership with Samaritan's Purse that meets many of those financial needs for the foreseeable future. The two other needs are staff, blue shirts as we call them, to provide construction experience and ministry continuity, and teams, green shirts, to be the hands and feet and heart and voice of Jesus. Trinity is using some of the money you donated to support staff, specifically David Jackson, who was an elder at our church, but is now working for Crisis Response. Hi, I'm David. I'm a blue shirt, helping out with the green shirts in Tom Tyler's house. I'd like to challenge you to help meet the third need, teams. We'd love your ongoing donations, of course, but you could save your money and collaborate with your church to send a team of people. We will need teams for the foreseeable future, and there are plenty of openings in the fall and winter of 2018 and the spring of 2019. Click the link below to explore this opportunity. And thanks again for your support.